Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about my two outfits for Maka Auburn from Soul Eater. Um, so this is like the normal anime uniform and this uniform is from the manga and when she joins like the special elite team. But I promise there won't be any spoilers um, when I talk about this outfit. Before I start talking about the anime uniform, I just want to disclaim that none of the brands that I mention are paying me to advertise them. I just kind of searched around online and around in person uh, different stores for the parts and pieces to this costume. So let's get started. Starting with this coat, I found this on Amazon.com. It's an A Buyer blazer, junior size medium. Originally I had got junior size small and that's like better sleeve size for me personally. But the buttons were like really, I couldn't button it with all this stuff underneath. So I got medium and then for the long parts I got fabric that matched it fairly well, it's not exact. And I sewed huge long extensions. Okay, so there are four extension pieces. And basically there's a straight edge for the front and the back. And then on the sides I made um, like angled pieces, angled cuts so that there would be a flare. And there you go, it flares. You can kind of see different pieces. I might like put up a little diagram around here so you can see. So here's the front and here's the back. This part came on the blazer. Yeah, I was just too lazy to make the whole entire thing. Okay, starting from the bottom up, this white shirt is an Allegra K shirt, size small. And I really liked it because it had a nice wide collar. Like usually before I got this shirt, I was just using regular white button-up. But it was really hard to fold over the tie, which I'll show you in a second, with like regular collars. So this one's really nice, has a wide collar. And then at the bottom, they have sleeves that can be folded over jacket sleeves. And I really like that too because honestly, before I got this shirt, Rolling up the sleeves always wore me out the most out of putting on the entire cosplay. Oh, another thing that's really great about this shirt is, I don't know if you can tell, but they have the little puffy parts like Maka has in her uniform. It's not just straight off the shoulder. There's little puffs. There you go. Oh, and I also found this shirt on Amazon.com. So this skirt, um, it's from a company called French Toast. I got it off Amazon.com. Size. 16 in girls, so like extra large in girls, and then I had um, the local dry cleaning company hem it for me. It's not even black and red, it's like navy, navy, dark, 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 navy, blue and red, but I think it looks good. Whoosh. Okay, yellow vest. It's from Land's End. Um, women's small at first I got child extra large because I thought it would like fit better underneath the blazer but this one fits just as well underneath the blazer um, I sent back the child large or extra large or whatever I got because this part showed way too much at the top like it already shows a lot with this one I can pull it down easier if this was the hardest thing to find for my maca cosplay honestly knit not men's and it's knit and under $100 which is good but it has the little things on the edges and at the bottom okay this tie I got from someone on eBay and the brand is called Set Sense it's not just like green and white there's actually a little bit of a gray line in between the green and white and I really like it, it's like perfect. It's really good quality and I like it. So yeah, okay, got these gloves at a little Japanese store in the Thousand Oaks Mall in California. I don't know like the brand name or whatever because it was in Japanese, but they were like three bucks. Lastly but not least, um, for the regular anime Maka cosplay, the boots. 
I found some on, on eBay called 1982 Big Dreamer, and they were making Maka boots, um, like customized sizing deal thing. Yeah. Um, they're not like perfect, but they're really good quality. I mean, they're kind of falling apart, but like I've done crazy things with these, and they're holding up pretty fine. They're just a little bit big, and they're not like floppy, but I like to wear fuzzy socks just to fill them in a little bit because they're kind of awkward to walk in. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Okay, and so for the Spar Toy outfit, I made everything in this outfit except um, I got, I'm pretty sure I got this skirt on Amazon.com. It's just a regular blue skater style skirt. Circle skirt, skater skirt, one of the two names. You can just type it in and you'll find something. Okay, so all the fabric that I used in my Spartoy uniform, I actually bought at um, the Los Angeles Fabric Fashion whatever district. I found this blue fabric, and I did not have the skirt with me, but it matches like nearly perfectly. I actually did the collar on a separate shirt underneath the coat because I figured originally that I could just take off the coat and do the Sparto uniform for like any character basically but then that failed because then I took off the sleeves and I turned the sleeves into these um, separate cuffs because I wanted to be able to take them off these sleeves and put them on this one but then I just ended up using the sleeves to make these and what I did was I made like a u-shape of fabric and then a and then I added just this part of the U shape to make the tube and then I um, sewed together the end of the U shape right here to make like this thing and then I had to hand sew a lot of it it was really difficult and just both the cuffs and this tie part right here I stuffed foam just so it would be stiff and the shape would hold and then I hand stitched a little spiral shape in both. There's thin foam in here also to hold the shape. Um, I'm probably gonna rip this out and like pull it down a little bit because it's like slipping a little bit. But here's this. Here's the back of the shirt without the sleeve. Um, I based my patterns off of the white button up I used to wear pretty form-fitting. It's a little bit baggy, so I edited it a little bit. Okay, and here's the front of the shirt. This thing, right here, for lack of like professional terminology, this was like boob broom. There you go. And then, yeah. <laughs> I did end up hemming the shirt a lot after I sewed it all together. But here's the back, and here's the front but on the side. And here was the pattern for U shape to make the cuff. Here's the Fuka collar and the back, and it goes like this. And then this extra part lies on here, right here. I sewed this together first, then I flapped it open, and then I sewed these onto the second version of these. So then when I unfolded it, it would be like standing up, sewed together. This is very hard to explain. Lots of planning. The tie took me so long, I had to do it three times. A slight angle up and then round and then I just truthfully I don't even know how I figured this out. This huge hot mess. I messed up the sleeves on the undershirt with the collar part so badly and that's why I took them off. They didn't really fit under here, they were like really tight and it couldn't move well. Especially since there were going to be two pairs of long sleeve, I thought that was going to be way too hot. Um, so here's the sleeve pattern for this one. It's different than the original sleeve pattern I had on. This shirt turned out better and a little bit more comfortable. I have a slight inward um, thing where my elbow is and it kind of makes the flare. It's a little bit tight. Um, I still haven't truthfully hemmed the sleeves. I was in a hurry for Anime Expo and I just never gone around to it. I did the same um, panel flaring 
thing as the black one. Right here, I have like the little game plan. I have patterns, but I don't think you want to see them. They're just a huge, bunch of huge paper. Um, if you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but here's the back part. Um, from hip height, okay, so the side flare seam is 40 inches from the armpit. From armpit to the very bottom of it, it's 40 inches. Um, from the armpit to about hip height, I have about 10 inches on myself, 30 inches long from hip to the length part. I put the front of the jacket right at hip height, right at the top of my hip. Unlike the original uniform, the Sparkle uniform has a cut in the back, and from the very top to the cut, it's about 22 inches for me. The base of this patch is felt, black felt. And then the border is really thick foam. And what I did was I super glued the foam to the felt. And then after it dried, I sewed black stitching in the black felt part. And then I tried to super glue the foam part also to the jacket, but it didn't really work. It's still kind of separating. It's barely secure. And then death logo just super glued onto the black felt. It's also made out of foam, but it's a lot thinner. It's like off-white. So this whole jacket color is basically off-white, and then the shirt is just like regular white. I don't know if you could tell that difference here. You definitely see the difference when the shirt pokes through. So then with the Sparto uniform, I wear these white gloves again. Whoosh. Okay, deciding shoes for the Sparto uniform was probably the most difficult thing. The brand they're called is these are pretty clean in shape. I don't even know how to describe. First choice didn't even show up. Even though I ordered them like three times. Never had closed toes. That and then the height and then it, it was they were a pain in the butt. Underneath the skirt in the Sparta uniform, I'll be using black tights or leggings or whatever. And since the inside of these shoes have like a fuzzy lining or whatever. I would get like footless ones and wear them like to my heel so that I could grip better and then they didn't feel so slidey and like hard to wear. Thanks for watching my video guys. Um, if you liked it, the thumbs up, subscribe for some more. I'm gonna try and get my scythe video up soon to see that soul resonance empowering my soul and soul, you know? Okay, one thing I neglected to talk about was this wig. I got this off Amazon.com. I legit can't remember brand. Probably under $30, like a $25 wig because I'm really cheap. I kind of went for a not bright blonde color. Mock is kind of like a dirty blonde. These I made with the same foam that I put in the tie and on the cuffs. And then I just used black Sharpie. And then on the back, I got some blonde clips and just super glued them on. Ooh, ooh. Sometimes I would put like yellow ribbon because let's face it, they were. There were lots of versions in the manga, and sometimes there were ribbons, sometimes there were not. Here's my social media list. This doll. I don't know if you can read that. If you can't, it's okay. I got links. Makacha! I can't. <laughs>